is recognized for 12 minutes. Thank you. And let me thank my colleague from Vermont, Senator Leahy, for yielding and, and applaud him for the leadership role that he's playing on the Judiciary uh, Committee. Uh, Mr. President, several weeks ago, I informed the citizens of Vermont uh, that I would be voting against the confirmation of Judge uh, Mukasey uh, to be Attorney General. And tonight, I am going to, in fact, be casting a no vote. Uh, Mr. President, there are several reasons why I will vote no on Judge Mukasey. First, like many of my colleagues, I was deeply disturbed by his response to the questions of waterboarding. Uh, he apparently does not know whether waterboarding is torture. Well, millions of Americans know that waterboarding is torture. People all over the world know that waterboarding is torture. The Geneva Convention is quite clear about waterboarding being torture. And frankly, I don't think it's too much to ask for us to have an attorney general who knows that waterboarding is torture. And that's one reason why I am voting against uh, Judge McKaysey. But there is a second reason and perhaps maybe an even more important reason. Uh, Mr. President, for the last six years, it is clear that we have had a president who does not understand what the Constitution of the United States is about. What this president believes essentially is that he can do anything he wants at any time against anybody in the name of fighting terrorism, and he happens to believe that the war on terrorism is unending. It's going to go on indefinitely. And I think it is very important that we have an attorney general who can explain the Constitution to a president who clearly does not understand it. Unfortunately, Mr. Mukasey is not that person. Mr. President, in the last six years under President Bush, we have seen the National Security Agency start a program which allows wiretapping without first obtaining a court order, to my mind, in violation of the Constitution. We have seen personal records that have been extensively mined for data. How many millions? Who knows? Nobody in the Senate really knows. We don't have access to that information. But massive amounts of data mining a clear violation of the privacy rights and the laws of America. Under this president, we have seen the phenomenon of extraordinary rendition, which has shipped detainees to prisons in countries abroad, which allow torture. We have seen the firing and the politicalization of the office of the U.S. attorney. We have seen detainees of the United States being denied the oldest right in the Western legal system, the right to habeas corpus. We are running a prison camp in Guantanamo where prisoners have minimal legal rights, which is an international embarrassment for us as we struggle against international terrorism. And we have seen many other assaults by this president on our constitutional rights and on the laws of this country. We have a president who clearly does not understand the separation of powers, that the Congress of the United States is an equal branch of our government, that the judiciary is an equal branch of our government, that the executive branch does not have all of the power. Mr. President, just a little while ago, I was on a statewide TV program in Vermont, and somebody called in and they said, when is Congress going to begin to stand up to this president? And that's a good question, and I really didn't have a good answer. But what I can tell you, the time is long overdue for us to begin to stand up and explain to this president, who thinks that he could veto virtually every piece of legislation we send him, that ignores the Constitution of this 
country, I think it is time that we begin to stand up. Now, I've heard some of my colleagues here say, well, if we reject Mr. McKenzie, the president is not going to send us another nominee. That is the right of the president of the United States. But we have our rights as well. And we have the right to demand an attorney general who supports strongly the Constitution and is prepared to tell the President of the United States when he is acting against our Constitution. That's our right. And it's about time that we began to defend our right. I can't blame the President for taking over the rights of Congress if Congress is not prepared to stand up and fight back. And I think that time is long overdue. So, Mr. President, if you don't want to send us another nominee, that's your right. And we have our rights as well. I will be voting against uh, Mr. McKenzie, and I hope that uh, my colleagues do as well. And in conclusion, let me ask the unanimous consent uh, that letters of opposition and concern from the American Civil Liberties Union, the Leadership Conference on Civil Rights, and Common Cause be placed in the record. I yield back. Without Thank objection. You. Who yields time?